Hello, it's the Zunkazung back here with another diecast review, and today I will be reviewing the final 124 uh, scale NASCAR diecast that I got at the Michigan International Speedway, which is uh, boy, that was a, that was a long time ago. Now I'm finally getting around to reviewing the last car I got there, um, and as you can see, it's the 124 scale Matt Kenseth Husky Tools die cast for Joe Gibbs Racing. This is an absolutely awesome and beautiful die cast, and I'm really glad I picked this one up. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's go to the box quickly. I got, uh, you can see my lovely phone 2014 Camry, one of 1,188 made. Yeah. The box is pretty cool. Here, there's my Kenseth. Biggest, well, this forehead's not that big actually. Picture of the car again. Yeah. And I did not win a golden ticket, but I don't really care. So let's get to the car. This is an absolutely beautiful die cast. Um, great colors on it. As you can see, my background's a little different. Actually, uh, at my cottage. Just in my little cabin, so. Yeah, there's a lake out there. Can't really see. But, uh, heading home soon. And, uh, yeah. But, uh, back to the car. On the front, if not light a little, not used to filming here. Got the Home Depot Husky Tough Tools That Never Quit. And this is the last year that Home Depot will be on this car, so makes it a little cooler to have. Got Camry there, 20. Joe Gibbs Racing. I love the paint scheme. This car—it's simple, but it's such—it's good colors. I like black and orange. Those are two of my favorite colors, and uh, it goes really well with the white too. Like that nice stripe down the side, really nice looking. So we've got 20 here. The white 20 outlined in orange, outlined in black. You've got Home Depot one main financial, Husky, the Home Depot, American Ethanol. Oh yeah, Matt Kent's signature up there. In the back, you got the yellow dollar general, which is pretty cool looking. Um, it's got the back like that, but um, you know, I just realized uh, this is a car I'm gonna be reviewing uh, later. Spoilers on which car I got, but they have the uh, same back bumper, even though they're uh, different years. One's a 2013 and one's a 2014, so that's interesting. I just realized that. But, uh, back to this one Husky Tough Tools That Never Quit. Number 1,085, so one of the latest ones made, or one of the last ones made, I guess. Sort of, not really. Hashtag, let's do this. Same white 20 outline orange. And the black. This side is the same. The fade from yellow to black is a little goofy looking. How it's got like the yellow, and then like the, just the middle section of that line. The real car doesn't look that weird, but I guess on die cast form, that's the best they can do. Um, yeah, I think it's a little chip there. You can't know my fingers there, but right at the tip of my finger there, you see there's a little chip on the orange, but that's no big deal. Uh, yeah, you got Freightliner, Raybestos, Duzon. I always forget that little tiny one is, but that's okay. Usual contingencies. Oh, yeah, and up here you got tons of Toyota logos. So let's open this food. Ooh, boy. There we go. What I like about this hood is it's uh, black under there, which is sort of cool. So it says Toyota. Let's go places. Sort of. Um, yeah, there's the engine. Not much to it. Still a uh, crappy engine detail this year, so uh, yeah. I didn't. It's not really worth getting the Elite. I don't think so. I don't care too much about the engine stuff. I might be getting elite soon, I won't spoil that, but, you know, red fuel cell, all that good stuff. Yeah, so I, I really like this car, it's uh, great colors, I like the yellow on the back, a lot of people don't like it, I think it looks pretty cool, it's different. So yeah, there you go. The, uh, pretty much it, it looks like it's glowing right now, that, that light there, but uh, yeah, beautiful car, recommend it for any Kenseth fan, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.